In this video tutorial, we are going to get a little deeper into uh, the concept of angles. And I assume that you are aware of angles. And for those of you who haven't watched the tutorial on angles or are not aware what an angle is, then I'll request you to please go to the playlist and watch the tutorial on uh, angles and then come and watch this video. And in this video, I'm going to talk about uh, acute, ang sorry, right angles, straight angles, uh, reflex angles, and the complete angles. Let's begin the discussion on those four topics that we are going to discuss. And suppose that you are, you are standing here, you are standing, let's say, at this point and you're facing towards the north you're facing towards the north you're facing towards the north now if someone asks you to rotate towards the east so if this is east you're towards you're facing towards the north and someone asks you to rotate towards the east and let's say that you rotate it you rotate like this first to this point so you rotate it you rotate it then again Again, then again, and finally, you are at this, you're facing towards the east. You started from the north, facing towards the north, and you rotated yourself, and now you're looking towards the east. This is what uh, will be called as you rotated by a right angle. You rotate it you rotate it by a right angle by a right right angle Rem remember this term right angle you rotate it by a right angle okay you further decide and or say someone asks you that okay now you're facing towards the east now move towards the south and look towards the south so what you have to do is now you have to move in this direction you have to face towards the south and therefore you rotate yourself this line should be straight but just you know it's a rough diagram so just sorry for that and then you further rotate it and now you came towards a, this south position now you are facing towards the south now if you see that again you moved if if you were facing towards the east and now you are facing towards the south then you are again moved by a right angle you are again moved by a right angle again moved or rotated by a right angle so one right angle when you move from the north to the east so this was the first right angle and then again you move when you were facing towards the east now you're facing towards the south and you move again with a right angle so this is the second right angle so one right angle plus one right angle that is two right angles you have moved by two right angles from the north one right angle when you move from north to east and the second right angle that you move from east to south therefore if someone asks you that 
how many right angles you have moved related, relative to the north, you will say that I have moved by two right angles. One this one and the next this one. So two right angles. Now when you move by two right angles, then this angle, then this angle, so this was the first right angle and always remember, always remember that you represent right angle by, I mean the you can represent it by this like this also but the better rep representation for uh, uh, for right angle is like this okay this is the perfect one and here again you moved by a right angle so this whole this whole movement from north to the south that you are saying is two right angles this angle this angle this angle is actually, that is from the north to the south, is actually a straight angle. Is a straight angle. Is a straight angle. Okay. Now you know right angle and now you know straight angle. Again, what's a straight angle? A straight angle is actually two right angles. If you move or if you are measuring an angle by two right angles, then that's a straight angle. That is straight opposite, you know, direction. If you are facing the, towards the north, now you are facing towards the south. It's a straight line, right? It's a straight line. And the straight line at this point, it's making a right angle. Sorry, a straight angle. That is two right angles. Now let's suppose that someone asks you that, hey, now move from the south to the west. Now you have to move from the south to the west. So what you have to do is actually this. This is west. Now again, if this was one right angle, this was second right angle, then this one will be the third right angle, right? This one will be the third right angle that you have moved from the north to the west, north east, then east to south, then south to west. So if you move by a straight angle from north to south, you will further take a, another right angle to move towards the west. So this is the third right angle. The first one was this, the second one was this, and the third one was this. Now, suppose that when you were moving from the south towards the west, you stopped at this position. Let's say that you stopped at this position. You stopped here. You stopped. You stopped here. And you stopped at this position. You stopped here. Now this angle, this angle from here to here. You are facing towards the north and you move toward the east, then towards the south and again when you reach that south, remember it's a straight angle this time, but now you moved again towards, you are moving towards the west but you stopped here and now you are making this angle, this angle from the north to this position. This angle that you have just moved that is greater than that is greater than that is greater than this straight angle. It should be greater than straight angle. Straight angle. And actually there is one more condition in this that the angle should be greater than a straight angle and one more angle that I should have discussed first then I should have come at this point but I'm sorry for that but I'll just tell you so if this angle is greater than straight angle then this angle will be reflex angle reflex angle and the second condition in this there should be a second condition that I'll just discuss shortly very shortly but as of now just remember this one reflex angle reflex angle will be when when you are you know when you moved more than a straight angle more than a straight angle okay 
Now you move, you move towards the west, and now if you further move from the west to the north, okay, so you move from south to west. Now you are moving from west to north. You are facing towards from uh, towards the north again. So you finally you reached here. You finally reached here. Now you are facing again towards the north. So this whole this whole angle that is from here to here that is you made a one full rotation you are facing towards the north now again you are facing towards the north you are facing again in the initial direction where you started from so this will be this whole angle will be complete angle complete angle complete angle remember this name too okay complete angle and that's what you know the second condition will be for any angle to be a reflex angle the condition the condition is that it should be greater than a straight angle but but should be less than should be less than complete angle what does that mean if this angle that is here this one if I'm just marking here if this angle was a straight angle and this one you know this one we re represented here is a complete angle this one that is a whole rotation if you stop anywhere in between this straight angle and this complete angle that will be a reflex angle like if you stopped here at this position so uh, I said that this will be let me take a little so I said that this angle, this angle, you can clearly see that it's greater than straight angle. That is from this one, it's greater than that, but it's smaller than this angle. That is the complete angle. And it can be at any portion, even if you were here, even if you were here, let's say that you reach to this position, it should be a straight line. Assume that it's assume that it's a straight line. And if you're pointing here, even this angle, even this angle, that is this angle, even this angle that is greater than a straight angle but less than a complete angle will be a will be a reflex will be a reflex will be a reflex angle so again i'm repeating few points first for right angles so right angle is that i showed here if you are facing towards the north now you're facing towards the east you have taken one right angle if you further move from east towards south you're taking another right angle if you further move from the south towards the west, you are taking another right angle. If you are further moving from west towards the north, I mean rotating yourself, you further move by a right angle. That's a right angle. Okay. What's a straight angle? If you move by two right angles, if you move by two right angles, that is first this one and again this one. If you rotated yourself by two right angles, then that's a, then that's a straight angle. Okay, so straight angle is straight angle is straight angle is equal to two right is equal to two right angles. Okay, then we, 
if we further move from the south and we reached again, we rotated uh, us like we reached here uh, towards the north, then it's making a complete angle. And you can clearly see that this complete angle is actually four right angles. Complete angle. If we rotated ourselves completely, again, like we reached to the initial position, complete angle. Complete angle is four right angles. One, two, three, and four. We rotated, rotated ourselves by four right angles. Okay. And so we have discussed right angle, we have discussed straight angle, we have discussed complete angle. And if there is any such position where your ang that the angle you are making from the initial position and to the position that you are standing right now, if that angle is greater than straight angle but less than a complete angle, then that will be a reflex angle. Like I showed here, even if you are standing here at this point, which is actually greater than a straight angle but smaller than a complete angle, then this angle is from here to here is a reflex angle and similarly, even at this position, it's also a reflex angle.